I've been farming all my life. There's never a question when I was in school what I was going to be when I grow up. It was already decided I was going to be a farmer. My father was a farmer. My grandfather, my great-grandfather, and his father before him were all farmers. I didn't have a choice. And I don't anticipate a midlife crisis where I'm going to have to wonder what my career is going to be. It's going to be farming. And you know why? Because when you grow up on a family farm, it's expected that when you're old enough and your dad's too old to run the family farm, you're going to take it over. Farming's not easy. It's a hard life. And interest in farms and farming varies from time to time. Today, people are all about helping farmers and liking farmers. And I see bumper stickers all over the place. No foods, no farms. Support local farmers. And I appreciate this. I really do. But I can't help but notice that the people, for the most part, that are driving around with these bumper stickers drive Volvos and live in subdivisions. They may like the thought of farming, but not the thought of actually being a farmer. See, farming's hard. And sometimes some of these idealistic folks will come out to my farm asking me questions. It's like they're on the search for the meaning of life, and they think I've got the answer, like, like I'm the Dalai Lama or something. And they come to me and they say, what is the secret of farming? Well, in some ways, that's an easy question, and in other ways, it's a very difficult question to answer. You know, Farming is hard. And if I didn't believe in God, I would think that everyone and everything was against me. You know, when times are tough, some farmers get out while they still can. They, they sell the farm while the money's, while it's still valuable, while they're not mortgaged over the hill, and they can get something for it. For some, for some farmers, they don't have a choice. The bank makes the decision for them. If I didn't believe in God, and thankfully I do, I would despair. For thousands of years, farmers like me, we've gone out to our fields. We've cast seed with hope in the spring that, that we'd have a great harvest come fall. But it seems like everything's against us. The weather is a, a constant foe. If it's not too much rain, it's too little. You know, you go out to the field and you'll start casting the seed. And some of that seed is going to hit hard soil. It's going to hit soil that it, the seed cannot penetrate. And it has no shot. And the birds come in before it can even germinate. And they eat it up. Other seed, it hits soil and you get excited. You start to see it germinate. It takes off, but the problem is, is what's under the surface is, is ledge or, or, or some big rock. And it, it's shallow soil. And it, it springs up, but then the summer sun scorches it. And it withers. Other seed gets cast to the outskirts of the field, where there might be a briar patch or some other invasive plant. And it, it tries to grow, but it's choked out by the competition. Thankfully, some seed hits on good soil. And it produces a crop, a harvest, 30 to 60 to 100 percent. And that makes for one happy farmer. 
So people come and they ask me, what's the secret to farming? You know, whether they get the answer to that question or not depends totally on them. Do they have ears to hear? In other words, are they really serious about finding the answer? Or is it just some intellectual curiosity? Lastly, and most importantly, whether they're going to get that answer is whether they think I'm worth listening to. Thank you for your time, and I hope you'll find the secret to find it. As our farmer exits,